There's a lot to see and do and know about Broome. Once you get to know Broome, you're okay. You know what's there, what's up ahead. First thing you do is rub your legs, your feet into the dirt to give you that sense of feeling of danger, of good, bad, whatever. It's up ahead of you. Sometimes I'd feel like I was being pushed out or that this place was trying to drive me insane, you know? And there's lots of old stories about that kind of thing around here. So you got three colours that tells you about that, about this one tree, to let you know that gum is coming up. It's the green one, the yellow one. I haven't got the red one. Living in Broome, you see the old life back in your hands again. You don't waste the time. You go along with the tide, you go along with the sun, you go along with the moon, you go along this, with the sea. It tells you everything that you need to know about life. third day after the full moon and the third day after the new moon. That's when the spring tides happen. And we're heading towards springs now, so this outgoing tide will be at its lowest in a couple of days. And that's um, something that's quite unique about this area, the Kimberley, is um, you get these enormous tides, 10, 10 11 metres. And, you know, the moon, <laughs> the moon's power is what makes these tides. It's what pulls these tides in and pulls them back out. And I feel that the, that moon's power, that that has a real effect on my hour, you know, myself and other women, sisters in Broome. It has an effect on, definitely, on our emotional state. It's like, it's like our emotions are like the ocean itself. Yeah, that strength of the pull of the moon, it pulls that strongly on my emotions, on our emotions. They were lost. Not lost, but alone in a beautiful paradise, Broome. And the only way they find out sisters and brothers and how the Avenue people work, they spun out. And now they've got fathers, they've got aunties, they've got uncles, and they've got brothers and they've got sisters, they've got nieces and nephews. So I've seen a lot of white people like coming in, oh, I'm not staying around here, I'm going to my frogs, to my sand flies. No, it's not that. You gotta learn to live with them. They've been around for years as well as us. So the only thing we do, pull up one of the sticks, the orders. That's the thing that keeps the sand flies away, keeps the snakes away. And all you do is just using this nature to keep the other natures away. And that's how Aboriginal people work. Whereas them, they could have been on the next plane out, gone. They wouldn't accept the way we live, but yet they stayed. And now look at them. So I'm free. 